Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, to see more videos like this in the future. We introduced the Power Air Fryer, and it finally became possible to enjoy the crispy, crunchy fried food you love, guilt-free. Millions were sold, and the five-star reviews say it all. People love the Power Air Fryer. Now, air frying is taking a quantum leap forward. Introducing the Power Air Fryer Oven. The full oven that can air fry 75% more than traditional air fryers. What's the secret? Our stainless steel airflow racks and 1,700 watts of rapid air technology fries food with a whirlwind of superheated air for that great crispy fried taste without all the added fat and calories. Air fry chicken strips, wings, and tasty sea salt curly fries. And all made with that amazing fried food taste without the gills and up to 70% less calories from fat compared to deep frying. If you switch from deep fried to power air fried oven fries just once a week, you could consume 14,000 less calories per year. And here's exciting news. Now you can air fry rotisserie. The power air fryer oven uses superheat combined with rapid air technology. Regular rotisseries have no airflow. Look at our air fried rotisserie chicken versus this one from a regular rotisserie. Ours cooks faster. It's crisper on the outside and so much juicier on the inside. There's no comparison. And our amazing drip tray catches all the extra fat and oil, so it truly is guilt-free frying. But hold everything. The Power Air Fryer Oven is also a pro-grade dehydrator. Dehydrate vegetables, herbs, and fruit. Onions, homemade sun-dried tomatoes, and croutons make great toppers. We perform just like expensive professional ones that can cost over $300. The Power Air Fryer is a chef-quality air fryer, rotisserie, and a food dehydrator all in one. It features a state-of-the-art touchscreen with eight presets. With one touch, you can rotisserie, dehydrate, air fry, roast, bake, use it as a pizza oven, broil, toast, and reheat. And all accessories are dishwasher safe, so cleanup is a breeze. You won't find it in stores, so act right now. Denise, you remember the Power Air Fryer XL? Oh my gosh, of course. I think we've just taken air frying a quantum leap forward. <laughs> Ow. I can't wait to show you this. Look at this. It's the Power XL Air Fryer Oven. Oven? Oven. Huh. That's right. Look at this. Whoa, look at all that food in there. Racks and racks of food. <laughs> and now I have these stainless steel airflow racks wow, look that at allow that. our food to get cooked on the top and the bottom without flipping. Right. It's like a whirlwind of heat and air combined together to create crispy, crunchy, amazing results. I got okay. a couple of families you can feed for sure. For people who don't understand air frying, traditional air fryers, the problem was you could only cook on the bottom layer. Right, right. So, you got good results, mm. but you can only do four pieces of chicken right. to our bounty of chicken. All right, we're gonna take ah. something traditional, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. I think you might know what this is. Yep. So grab a piece of this chicken. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna compare it to a piece of chicken mm -hmm. fried with air All from right. our air fry oven. I'm gonna put this down on the paper mm -hmm. towel, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roll them. Okay. Give them a nice. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Move all table. All right. Now let's see what oh, we have. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I don't want to eat all that grease. Why don't you grab a piece of that? Because okay. I want you to see if the air fry oven okay. makes it just as crispy and just as well, wonderful as one of America's favorites. Not even gonna kid you. I really mm. just want this. Do you hear that? Uh huh. It sounds like a potato chip. And it tastes amazing. So I'm not sacrificing flavor when I air fry. No, we don't want to sacrifice the flavor. Mm. What we want to do is we want to even make it better. I think so it's lighter good. and crispier, amazing fried chicken, a lot less guilt. You know what? Mm. In fact, you save up to 70% of the calories from fat. Now, what do we have next? Because we have our airflow racks. Oh, look at those. Look at that. Yeah. I was able to cook these onion rings. So cool. Oh, man, you can so hear yummy. how crunchy they are. <laughs> they bounce off the table. Oh, we have oh, some zucchini. zucchini petals, yeah. Now, again, I'm doing all of this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in one unit. I would have had to have done this in three units. Small footprint, mm -hmm. a ton of food. Whoa. You can hear it crispy. It is crisp and delicious. Oh, <laughs> you hear that, that crunch? It sounds awesome. My God, rattling my brain is so mm. crunchy. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is good. So good. Mm -mm. 
All right, now I'm not done. I did onion rings, I did zucchini. Oh my gosh, there's steak in there too? Yes, I cooked four strict steaks, onion rings, and zucchini, all in the PowerXL air fryer oven. We're not just using the bottom layer. I think steak comes out amazing because you know what? Oh wow. I Look didn't have to pretty. flip it. I didn't have to pour oil in my pan to sear it. Okay, watch this. So this is just the oil oh, that came off that. of the food that we cooked. So cool. Now, I want to show you our rapid air technology and how it works. All right. Now I'm going to turn the unit on and you're going to see that's our rapid air technology. It's a whirlwind of super heated air. So that's why you can fry with air instead of oil. I love it. All that right, concept. but I have a huge surprise for you. We have the first air fryer rotisserie. Look inside. Now think about it. You know how great air frying is? And you know how great rotisserie is? You put them together and you have an amazing end result. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I know, look how gorgeous this bird is. Okay, so now we're just gonna take it off of our spit. Mm -hmm. Look at that beautiful chicken. Wah! Now, I'm gonna take this over here because I have another little demonstration that I'm dying to show you. Okay, here's a rotisserie. Mm -hmm. This is a plain, traditional rotisserie. Right. Now watch, I'm gonna turn it on. Look what happens, what do you see? Nothing, nothing's happening. It's spinning, it's dead air. And I'm gonna show you the difference between air fry rotisserie okay. and standard old traditional rotisserie. I'd like to see this. Right? This is a traditional rotisserie and this is our PowerXL air fry rotisserie. Both birds, mm -hmm. they weigh the same. Same amount of time. So what I'm gonna do is I will cut our traditional rotisserie and take a look inside. It's Boring, okay. actually. Now look at our skin. Look how gorgeous <laughs> that is. Now I'm gonna take a piece out of here. Oh, look, it's falling apart. Yeah, that look looks that. good. That looks really good. Juicy, steamy. steamy. All right, I'm going to get you a little skin because I know you like yeah, the I skin. Yeah, I do like that. Now good. look at that. Oh my gosh, let's try it. Ooh, it's steamy. steamy. Oh man, is that good. The flavor and the juiciness of this is amazing. It really is. It's off the charts. Ours is faster, juicier, and crispier. Mm -hmm. All right, I have something else to show you. Because we're a rotisserie, mm -hmm. now we can do skewers. It takes you to another level. You don't have to just put a chicken on a spit or yeah. a roast on a spit, and then we're gonna take this guy out of here. Oh, man. Oh, is that a sight to behold? I have never seen anything like that. All right, switch sides with me, because okay. I'm gonna put this on our holder. Look at this, now I just dropped this right on my spike wow. holder. <sighs> now, Denise, I know you're a chicken girl, but I am gonna turn you into a steak girl okay. with this right here. Well, it looks pretty darn oh, good, I must man, tell you. Oh, stop. What do you think? melting in my mouth. I know, it's beautiful Delicious. too. All right, Denise, you gotta stay with me because I'm not done with surprises. I have one word to say to you, dehydrator. Now, right in the PowerXL air fryer oven, you can dehydrate everything from fruits to vegetables to jerky. Let me show you how easy we made it for you. One touch technology. I'm just gonna hit my dehydrator button down to 90 degrees for fruits and vegetables, maybe okay. kale chips, and super high, 170 degrees for things like jerky. So we didn't skimp on any feature in the Power Air Fryer. Right. Like I said, it's a pro-level dehydrator. I love it. All right, come over here because I have another thing I want to show mm -hmm. you. Do you know that they actually add sugar to dehydrated fruit in the supermarket? This doesn't even look like fruit to me. I know. This is how much sugar you could eat if you bought this pineapple. You know what's in mine? Just the fruit. What does this look like? That looks like papaya to me. What does this look like? It looks like orange rocks. I know, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get why it has to be like that. We want to eat the fruit raw, yeah. we want to eat it beautiful, and we want it to look like the fruit that we're eating, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Let's see what we got here. No additives in there. You know what? This is nature's candy. Oh, I like that. Nature's candy is mozzarella sticks and french fries, yeah. right? Pretty much. Can I give it a test? Oh, yeah. I was hoping you would, please. Let's see. Is it ooey and gooey and stringy on the inside? Uh, the answer to that is yes, <laughs> yes, yes, and... Oh, man. Um, okay, sorry. All right. I could have thrown that in a vat of oil, but I didn't. I'm glad you didn't. It's delicious and it tastes just as good. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the mozzarella sticks mm -hmm. to another level. This is my version of Denny's fried cheese melt. Okay. Cheese, cheese, and a spot of and cheese. And then more cheese, just a touch of a button, and this is what you get when you take them out. Okay. What? Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Now that's a grilled cheese. <laughs> but it's air fried. Look wow. at this, are you That's kidding? That's crazy. Oh man, go, one go for, for you. it, okay. All right, one for me. Oh. <laughs> for the first time, I think I got nothing to say. 
That's hardcore delicious. <laughs> That's hardcore. I mean, really. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make refrigerator pretzels. All right. They're so easy to do. Oh, like a little pretzel bite. That's right. I call them that because I use refrigerator dough. This is my favorite <laughs> part. It's so versatile, and I'm telling you, in the air fryer oven, everything you do with dough comes out absolutely amazing. Just take a pizza cutter, make some cuts just Oops, like this. Okay. And then what I do is I just roll it this way, just like this. You don't have to be fancy. Just give it a roll. OK. And then I take my pizza cutter, and I slice oh, okay. and slice and slice and So slice whatever size you want, really, right? Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip it in just water and baking soda. That's all this is. Okay, okay. And then I take my pretzel salt, and I give it a little sprinkle with the pretzel salt. And with the magic of TV, I have some ready oh, for you. All right. All right. Awesome. Look how pretty these are. Oh, man. It's like you're at the game. Cool. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Fresh air-baked wow. pretzels. Really good. How do you not love a pretzel? Good point. All right, wait till you see what I'm going to do for you now. What I did here is I made a bacon now, I have some turkey. Now what I do is I just lay it right on top of my bacon. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my stuffing on. Now the stuffing, again, the recipe's in the book. That looks like a nice little cornbread stuffing. Yeah. It is delicious. you got to get the book. Mm -hmm. oh, get out any of my no, secrets here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the paper, and it's just going to help me roll. Okay. So I'm going to get the roll started and then finish it off. Now we just want to give it a nice squeeze. Okay. Now, guys, you want to make sure that your bacon oh, is look at nice that. and cold. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do simple ties. You don't have to get crazy with this. It doesn't matter if you have leftover string, you could snip it off at the end. You have to see the way this looks inside the unit. Look how the bacon is basting the turkey. So we're gonna open up our door. Wow. Oh man, That's doesn't that pretty. look good? We just lift and pull. So mm -hmm. simple to do, guys. It's now all I have to do is slide it right off the spit, just oh, like that. That's pretty easy. Look at that. Throw that in the dishwasher. Not nearly as intimidating as I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> All right, now I'm just gonna give it one little slice down the center, and let's see how beautiful it is inside. Oh my Does word. that look good? That is really beautiful. So, I know you like a little bit of bacon. I like that bacon, yeah. Here, I'm gonna make sure oh, you get you a piece of that. Okay. Yeah, tell me how you like it. And maybe I'll give you the recipe. I know, but keep the book. <laughs> That's right, you That's did. really, really good. Because we have that superheated cyclonic air, that whirlwind of air and heat inside, you know what we can do? It's the best pizza oven ever. Let's see what we have going on in here. Look at that. We have a classic pepperoni. Right, beautiful. These look artisanal, don't they? They do. They're like, done to perfection. Look how gorgeous they look. Oh. Look at this. This is my super easy s'mores pizza. What can I, I mean, do for you? Good? Put it in. It looks like this. All right. Well, Take it out. It, out it looks like that. Recipes in the book. Mm -hmm. This is so easy to make. It's chocolatey delicious. Oh, all right. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going in. It's like a campfire on a pizza. Mm, I just discovered a new, my favorite <laughs> kind of pizza. Now that was a fun dessert, but I have another fun dessert. Have you ever eaten a cactus? Those are edible? I'm gonna show you how to make little cactus desserts. Air fryer is great for baking desserts because awesome. it's got the convection, but it's sort of like convection on steroids is really what right. it is. Now these are cool. This is boxed cake mix. And this is what they look like when they come out. I'm gonna show you how to turn it into a cactus. A little layer of the icing right around the top. You want to get every bit of it on there. Mm -hmm. Now I have crushed graham crackers. You take the upside down, oh, give it a little I smash. Get it. Yeah, it's the dirt, the That's sand. That's right, it's like potting soil, it's right? So cool. Then I have a donut hole. Of course, another thing you can get anywhere, right? Yeah. And a toothpick. I just drop it on top. Gotcha. Press it down. Now what I do is I make little pulls, mm -hmm. like spiny little cactus. People are just blown away by this. When you get to eat it, right? That's right, but it's so easy. It yeah. took, what, five seconds to really, decorate it? Really? really, it was nothing. I have one ready for you. Cool, okay. And Let's you just dig it. in there right out of the terracotta cup. Okay. You can get these terracotta pots anywhere. They're so inexpensive. So much fun, mm. so easy. I wish I could eat the pot. <laughs> to do some fried Oreos. So what I wanted to do is come up with a way to make it a little more healthy. So what I did is I took refrigerator biscuit dough. I have a cookie cutter, but you could use mm -hmm. a coffee cup, doesn't matter. Okay. Place the Oreo in the center. That's it, huh? And then you just take the dough and wrap, wrap it, it all the way around. So let's take a look inside. Now these have cooled Ooh. just a little bit. Okay. Put them on our little platter here. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Oh, they're warm and toasty. We didn't drop these in oil. Right, right. So you get to save up to 70 percent of calories from yes. fat compared to a vat of uh, dirty oil. I'm going for it. Oh, look at the cream. 
Look at that. Um, that looks amazing. Oh, Wanna try? Yeah, let's split it. Mm. I feel like I'm at the fair. I do. I feel like I'm right back there. You know, the rotisserie setting on our air fryer is a game changer. One of my favorite things to rotisserie is sausage. Oh, okay. Yeah, look at this. I love sausage. Oh, man, this is so Let's good. It. Pull it right out of the oh, machine. Oh, that, that looks so incredible. Now, when you rotisserie air fry your sausage, uh -huh. it bastes in its own juices. Oh, so it great, makes great. the sausage so amazing. <laughs> looks pretty oh, good. Oh, man, wait till you try we'll find it fork, rotisserie you know it. air fried sausage. Looks good. Not dried, not burnt. Mmm. Cooked to perfection. Thank you. Mm. It's roasted oh. in its own juice, so it's got to be better, right? All right, Denise, I have one thing to say to you. Air fried meatballs. Okay. <laughs> it might be more than one thing, but you know what I love about air fried meatballs? There's no cooking them in Ooh. fat. Look how gorgeous they are. And they don't look dried out. They look juicy no, and never delicious. Never dried out. No flipping, no mess, no cooking in fat. These look really good. Yeah, but now, Denise, we can throw these in a pot of spaghetti sauce. We can throw Gross. them right on well, top yeah, of the yeah, yeah. pasta if we want. Mm. And the juiciness mm. is there. Such a great invention. I know. Are you loving it? Oh, yeah, I'm falling really in love am. with it. No, I I'm... love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, it does so much. All right. So let's get back to dehydrating. OK. All right? Have you ever thought about dehydrating bacon? No. We're going to call it bacon jerky. It takes a maple syrup. And then I like to spread it all over the bacon just like this. Now, what I am going to do you. is I'm going to take some brown sugar. Again, we're just kicking it up a notch. I'm going to put sriracha powder on here. This is going to give it a little hot. Now, I would take this rack and I pop it right in. Mm -hmm. I walk away. It turns off by itself. I don't have to babysit. That's part. When it is done, tell me what you think. Try it. Mm. Mm. It's mm. like candy. It's candied bacon. That is so good. Mm. All right, Actually. now you're going to try unicorn doo doo cakes. All right. Yes. I'm open for anything. I said unicorn doo doo cakes. I'm going to show you how to make them. Box cake mix. Oh. And then I separated it and put different dyes in each okay, one. Okay, different food colors. And you know what? Of course, unicorns do do in different <laughs> colors. And of course, they're pastels, right? Of course. So now I took a sugar cone, drip in the batter into each one of the cones, all four colors. Kids can do it, I adults just, can do just it. I was going to say, a great activity for the kids. Yeah, this is so Having much fun. Having fun. All right, so you just fill it up to the top, mm -hmm. and then we bake them in the power air fryer oven. And let me show you what it looks like when oh, they're gosh, done. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty cool. These they're, are nice and cooled off already. They're cooled off. Mm -hmm. See how beautiful they are? Yeah, they do look All cool. All right, now I'm going to show you how we're going to finish it up. Four right. different color pastel icings. Now I just take this guy, I give it a little flip. Oh, my gosh. Pop it off. I love it. Now I'm not done, because we all know that unicorns do do. And then there's fairy dust involved. <laughs> that's the most beautiful doo-doo you're ever going to see. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's true. Now, what I'll do is I'll cut it down the middle. Because I, the I'm way, dying for you to see how gorgeous it is all the way through. Oh, my goodness. It's a rainbow in a cone. Yes, <laughs> yes. I love it. Kids are going to love this. I think anybody would love this. Does it taste as good as it looks? You tell me. Right. Mm. The answer is yes. <laughs> How can you not love cake in a cone? It place? looks fun and it tastes fun. So good. <laughs> Here's your last chance to get in on this amazing television offer. 